Hey, what's up guys? It's your host with the most, Tito here, and basically I wanted to talk a little bit about the Stylo 3. Um, now I got to tell a lot of people are really, really super excited for this device. I am myself too, and um, I don't know, it's something that, you know, I, I have to get. I'll tell you guys why. I've been a very huge fan of the Stylus brand ever since I got the first one. And true, mine was the weaker spec one compared to the one on Metro PCS. But that never deterred me from actually using it. And the more that I used it, the more that I liked it. And even though, like I said, it was a weaker spec one, I only had 8 gigabytes of internal storage, which meant like basically 3.8 gigabytes usable, 1 gig of RAM. For a device that is really weakly spec, the G Stylo still performs slick and smooth. I just dig the way that it's so fluid. Um, it's not super fluid, but it is fluid enough that it feels buttery smooth when I use it. Shocking, right? And then we have the Stylus 2. Or the Stylo 2. And yes, again, Boost Mobile got the weaker version compared to Metro PCS. Being the fact that it didn't have the fingerprint reader and it had a quad-core processor instead of an octa-core processor. But still, the Stylo 2 was good. And one of the biggest things that I can appreciate about the Stylo 2 was the fact that it was lighter than the G Stylo. Thinner. And vulnerable, but hey, <laughs> what phone isn't? So, now we have the Stylus 3, or what's coming to be called the Stylo 3 Plus. And I guess it's called Plus all around, basically because of the fact that it is going to have that fingerprint reader. And, maybe blessfully, it will be spec the same on Metro and Boost. And let's not just do this, one gets the higher than the other. Let's call it as it is and let the networks compete for themselves. But, the Stylo 3... You know, a couple of things when I look at it and what I've noticed about it so far that I, I'm actually digging, one, is that it's got rounded corners. And I'll put up pictures on the display right now so you guys can see. But it's got these, these nice, you know, chamfered round corners from what it looks like. The back looks a little chamfered a little bit, but the edges around it is more more rounder than, than, this, than this right here. Okay. Um, and one of the reasons I could tell that it is going to have, like, a nice rounded corner to it is that if you look at the stylus pen... The very tip of it does not look like like this one or the Stylo 2. It's like you guys see this right here, okay? That's yeah. It's the top tip right here is actually longer, as as if when you pull the stylus out, you're basically pulling out also like the corner itself. So what would be the purpose of that? Well, looks like it could be used for grip. So if, in case your finger slides up the the stylus, you won't like completely drop it. It'll hook to your finger. I noticed that the stylus tip is actually smaller and what a lot of people are saying is it's for better accuracy when using the stylus on the display for like if you use note taking or doodling or anything it'll be a little bit you know more accurate okay um to me i think it's pretty cool how they're kind of approaching this power power button fingerprint reader on the back volume rocker on the side so they kind of kept this kind of format but without the volume rocker so volume on the side but you get the power button back here. It's circular instead of, you know, rectangle-ish. And, uh, yeah. It's power on your device, unlock your device. And that's what that's actually, like, you know, pretty cool. I think is uh, really nice of the fact. So, you know, is, is, is the Stylo 3 something I'm gunning for? Yeah, definitely, of course. Uh, what am I hoping the price point would be for this device? I'm actually hoping that the price point won't be dramatically high uh, because that's one thing that I really really um, commend LG for was that the stylus which technically was not made to compete against the Galaxy Note but it gave you features almost similar to the Galaxy Note minus the whole S Pen feature stuff but like you know you did have you know a pen pop which was actually pretty cool so um, but it was never such a high priced device like it, it, it never really broke the threshold of 200 it was always like under 200 bucks and i'm hoping it still remains to stay that way i'm hoping that this doesn't pivot the whole point of the stylus series and break into you know like 249 or 229 like really hoping it stays maybe 199 hopefully 179 would be really lucky if it was 149 and like super ecstatic if it was like 99.99 but that will never happen unless you get it on a promo maybe six to seven months after its release but for me 
I can say that this is one device you'll definitely see in my hands in the future. And begs the question, what do you guys think about it? Are you guys super excited about it? What feature do you guys love about it so far that you guys know of? And uh, yeah, is it worth the upgrade in your eyes? Also, if I may make a, a wish, I wish that those multiple colors it comes in is options that you can get on Boost Mobile and Metro PCS. That would be super fantastic than just having one plain Jane color. Because what's the point of, of advertising three different colors for the Stylo 3 if you're not going to give three colors to Boost Mobile and Metro PCS? That's just me speaking. So if you guys enjoyed this video, guys, can let me know by smashing that like button. Uh, click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you guys can be notified. They go together. Subscribe bell. Bing, bing. There you go. And uh, links on the display. Just click those so you guys can follow it. Um, as always, you guys will catch me in the next one. Good night, everybody. Aloha. Mahalo for checking out my video. Bye.